everyone, this is Dr. Clyde Letsom, and I'm behind the camera today. Um, you may have uh, remembered, if you've been following me on YouTube, that I did a video on how to use manual calipers uh, much earlier. Um, one of the things that I did not do is I did not um, explain how to use the back of the calipers here and uh, what exactly it's used for. So if you remember from the previous video, I talked about this part here and I talked about if you wanted to, uh, let's say for instance, uh, measure the uh, length of a certain object, you'll just pull this out and you go ahead and use that to clamp onto, let's say the object. And I'm having just a little bit of trouble here. My hand's a little bit slippery. You'd use that to clamp onto the object. And then from there, you'd read inside the window here in order to figure out what the, in this case, uh, width of the object is. But like I said, I never explained how, what this is used for and how to use it. So what we're gonna do in this video is explain how to use this part of the manual calipers and what it's, um, and explain how to use it and what it was it used for. Okay, so let's say I have a item, and so right here I have a spool of wire, and for this spool of wire, let's say I wanted to figure out what the inner um, diameter of this spool of wire is, what I would do is I can't use the outside here, or I can, but it'll be um, not as precise as using the inside here. So what I can do is I can actually expand the calipers on the inside, and what I like to do is expand it and then try to shake it a little bit while uh, trying to increase it so that I can find the widest uh, point there, which would give me the diameter, okay? And then I would pull this out and from there, I can measure what the uh, diameter is. And so if you remember how we read this before, I won't go through this in this video, but you can look up the uh, other one on YouTube or check the end of this video and it will lead you to a link that will go to that video. But anyway, so if you look here at the back of the calipers, what you'll notice is that the uh, first mark here is past the two, but it hasn't made the three point yet. So that means my first digit is two. And then uh, let's see, that first mark is also past the halfway mark and it looks to be just a little bit before the six. So that means I'm certain about that five there, that's 0.5. And then what we do here now is we look at where the line down here matches up with a line up here. And it looks to me, let's see, let's see. It looks actually like the best match where there's a nice straight line when you combine it to happens right here. That's what it looks like to me. And you'll notice I said looks like, so that means I'm uncertain about this digit. And so I'm going to assume that it's a nine. Again, I'm uncertain about that digit. So when it comes to the measurement of the diameter of that spool that we we're looking at, okay, I measured 2.59 centimeters and I got centimeters because the measurement at the bottom there is centimeters. Okay. Now let's do a different example so we can make sure that we get a good feel for how this all works. And so I'll go ahead and close the calipers again. I'm going to zoom out and this time I got an old circuit board that came from an old Atari uh, controller. And let's say I want to measure the diameter of the circle within. And I can do this, of course, let's say if I'm trying to lay out a new board and I'm trying to figure out how it's going to fit into a box or whatever, I can actually use the manual calipers. Again, we're going to expand that in there, trying to wiggle it a little bit. Once we think it's not wiggling anymore as we are trying to expand it down here, Go ahead and pull this out. There we go. And then we try to read the numbers and I'm gonna zoom right in here. And so if we look at the calipers here now, we'll notice that the first mark here, whoops, the first mark here at the bottom, okay, 
happens to be past the one, so I know that it's gonna be at least one centimeter. And if I look here again, the mark, that first mark there, is past the second slash or second uh, mark here, but it doesn't quite make it to the third, so I know it's at least 1.2. And if we continue to look here, now we now this is where we get to the point where we're trying to figure out um, what that last digit is, that digit that we're uncertain about. And we check to see where we have a nice straight line being formed between the slashes above and the slashes below. And to be honest with you, and I'm trying to wiggle this here, it actually looks again like it's this mark here, that ninth mark. Okay, that seems to be create the most vertical line. And so I'm going to say that this is 1.29 centimeters with me being uncertain about the uh, last digit there, okay? So that's how you would go about using, zoom back up, go about using the calipers in order to check the inner diameter of a, an item or the inside of an item. Um, you'll notice here also, uh, again, we use this part in order to do it. And it doesn't have to be a, pro a circle like this. This could have been a square and then I just inserted this and then expand it until I get to the ends. So again, we can use this to measure inner diameters or inner uh, spaces within some object in order to figure out what the length, width, height, diameter, or whatever the measure is, um, again, in order to accomplish our measurements for whatever reason. Okay, so um, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you missed uh, what I talked about when it came to uh, using the calipers, the manual calipers on this end right here, again, there's a video on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, the information will pop up at the very end of this video and lead you to that link. All right, thank you.